Do you style for Nazir? Yeah. You style, you walked for Nazir as well. I did. So was that after Gaga, during Gaga? Where does that sort of fit I think that was after. Yeah. I think that that was when, because I met Nasser through Nicola. Right. Nicola styled his first presentation and Nicola was one of the first ones that was like pushing him and like me and Nicola have that same interest in like young artists and young yeah. designers yeah. and we both are very inspired by that and always want to push new talent and stuff. So Nicola had, um, yeah, styled Nasser's first presentation and then me and Nasser just got along and became... Because he was a milliner friends. at first. He was a milliner, yeah. yeah. He, I think, is one of the most unique visionary persons I've ever I worked agree. with. Mm -hmm. There's no one that has... There's no one that has ideas like him, thinks like him, approaches anything like him, and he's incredibly talented. Mm. I love his work and I have loved seeing what he's... Actually, when you showed me this... Yeah. Just now, I was thinking that it kind of reminded me of like Nessie's costume work that he's been doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, he came here to the big project with us yeah. early in the year, which in, show, in true show studio fashion is not released yet. <laughs> we have to get things right before we release them. So, um, but it will be out soon. Um, you know, he's, he's, I think he's an enormous talent and just totally taken his own route through fashion. Completely. So it hasn't gone the kind of you know, predictable way. No. Although he has great talent, he's decided to do it on his terms yeah and that's it so he's just helpful. like i don't want to be involved in this <laughs> no i don't want to do it my own way which i have so much respect for i tend to be most excited by the girls that are like a little bit more crazy looking characters yeah. and like like i love like not crazy looking more unique looking characters i guess yeah. like i love omira yeah she was always one of my yeah. favorite models of all time I love like Devon Aoki, yeah. which has such a beautiful, unique look. I love girls like Giselle, Ugly Worldwide, who yeah. we both love. Absolutely. Um, or someone like Adeswa, you know, who's like, I love those girls that have very much their own spirit and they bring, they're not always like a canvas, they bring themselves yeah. a lot yeah. into the shoot. Yeah. And I think, yeah. Th I love all the girls, they're all incredible and beautiful, but I definitely lean towards more of the like punky yeah. characters, I guess. Because there's, there's that thing that people say about models, oh, they're a blank canvas, but I always think that's so insulting. <laughs> yeah. Know, because they're not a blank canvas, they're huge personalities. I just kind of said a canvas, but I didn't mean to say it in that way. But no, they are huge personalities. And there's some people that I think do like transform themselves in like so many different ways into all these different characters that you might not expect them to take yeah. on. And then there's some people that bring so much of themselves as well into every character yeah. that you almost can't escape There's different themself. sorts of models, isn't there? Yeah. Because I, mean, I'm, I remember when I first, first started being really surprised at how, you know, you had a model like Susie Bick, mm -hmm. who would turn up at the studio as if she was already modeling. So she'd be totally made up, hair perfect, <laughs> looking absolutely amazing in some 40s kind of pencil skirt or something. Go, wow. And then she would change and also be incredible. And then the girls would turn up in a kind of t-shirt and pair of jeans, sit in the corner and not really be sort of, and then put on a thing and then become this thing. Yeah. So it's kind it's of. It's true. And I've definitely seen girls before and been like, I don't really imagine how they're going to be on yeah. camera. I can't really see it. And then as soon as you put them in front, I'm like, blown away yeah, yeah, yeah like incredible models like modeling is really an art it's not like just look pretty and be a pretty person no it's, <laughs> i don't it's, think people realize how much of an art there is to it like to be a great model yeah and how hard work it is it's a mixture of being a, an actor and a sports person mm -hmm. because they have to know how to get to become the role that we create for them, that the stylist, makeup artist, hairdresser, photographer, designer creates for them as a persona that we're creating. They have to know how to deliver that, just as, a, just as an actor would deliver a, a character role. Um, and then they have to do it again and again and again and again and again for hours and yeah. hours and hours and hours. And usually in like six inch heels, <laughs> in the with cold. wind blowing in their face, yeah. hot lights flashing in their eyes. Yeah. It's not, it's, it's definitely, I, I have a lot of respect for, for models, it's not an easy job, and and it's all and they make the picture, you know. You work with a hairdresser who I know and love, called Charlie Mindu, who's one of the most extreme hairdressers I've <laughs> ever come across. Um, so tell me a little bit about your relationship with Charlie. Charlie's extreme everything. He's not That's just true. an extreme hairdresser. That's true. He's just extreme, <laughs> full stop. Yes. But Charlie and I have been friends 
I don't know, many years, 15, 20 years or something. I don't remember, I don't recall how we met at all, but in yeah. the, those days back in London, like around the same time as like Nasir and all of that stuff, yeah. Charlie. So Charlie's a hairstylist. He's done all kinds of different things with hair. He's another genius. Um, and he like used to cut, give haircuts in like the nightclubs in Berlin and stuff. Right. And then he moved to London and we met I don't know how, and I know that he was making like hair sculptures and clothes out of hair yeah. Yeah, and yeah. just very interesting experiment, very unbridled creativity, like I was saying, like yeah. no yeah. limits on himself, just really playing around with his ideas and what he could do. And we did these fashion shows <laughs> with his outfits made out of hair and hair sculptures and some of it was very outrageous and I look yeah. back and I'm like Ooh. <laughs> um, but you know it was just his, him experimenting and I think he's really a genius he's there's no one like Charlie yeah, he's yeah. very unique um, as a person and as an artist and I love seeing what he's continuing to do like he's recently been doing Kind of similar to Nasir, he's been doing a lot of costume work. Oh, really? Yeah, he's done lots of work for like different ballets. And I yeah. just saw today he did this show where he had like these kind of like sheer mesh cat suits with like hair all under it. Yeah. Um, and like it's some ballet kind of scene. And yeah, he does, he does a lot of different work. And then he does his art sculptures. And he did a show this week in, in New York. and. I think he put like a mask, you know you do those masks from the toy shop, like yeah. fancy dress ones, yeah. just like a human face. And I, I don't know, I assume that's what he did and he put it on the back of the head and then combed the hair over and stuck it down and it just looks like this <laughs> hair face on the back of the head. Yeah. Um, it's really cool, he's, he's a wild one. Everyone. Yeah, yeah no, he, he absolutely is. He did a, a show studio live studio once where he made hairstyles out of rats and things. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, those are the things I'm like, oh gosh. Yeah. Because some of it's yeah, definitely crazy, but you know, it's, it's important to have artists be provocative and. Yeah, no, well, they, they are, and, yeah, it's like everything else. They're trying things out, they cross lines, etc., etc. But they can't just hold it in. Otherwise, they're not, you know. He is not trying to hold in anything, I think. No. He just <laughs> goes, and that's what I love about him. He's definitely a genius. Yeah. yeah.